This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. Run the program to see how it works. Notice longest word function simply returns the word unknown. Let me hit run. Okay, so there are many states, but one with the shortest name is Iowa, hmm, or Ohio, and the one with the longest is unknown. Okay, and they said the word return, so let's take a look at something here. Yep, we're using return statements. Got it. Write code for the longest word function using the comment and the code in the shortest word to help. All right. So we have two arrays up here, or two lists, states name and dog names. Now, what is the data? Well, we're using stuff from the data tab, right? US states, state name, dog, dog name. So let me go over to data, and here's US states, and it's at state name, so that's this column. So we're turning this into a list, or dog names, that is this column. So that's what we're using for our list. So these are equal to those lists. Then what do we do? longest shortest word oh okay so we call a function the computer hits this and says what in the world is that and it starts looking smack and it finds it right here longest shortest word okay now it says list oh no no it doesn't this is shortest word it says smack <laughs> longest shortest word and it says type of list and it goes i don't know type of what Oh, states. Okay. And what list is this? Oh, it's the state name list. Okay. So this is the state name list. Then it creates this variable called message that's going to be equal to a string or like a sentence, right? It equals there are many plus whatever type of list is. Well, for this function call states, type of list is states. So this will be equal to there are many states right now. Then we go to the next line. This line says, hey, take whatever message used to be equal to. So message is going to be equal to whatever message used to be equal to what I just said. But and so plus, but the one with the shortest name is a function call. What? So what they're doing here is this pauses in a well, it doesn't pause, but the code says the one with the shortest name is plus. Oh, shortest word. What the heck? And it knows this is a function call because the parentheses without it, with that behind it so now it starts looking shortest word smack and it finds it and it says a list what's list oh list uh list is list what's list oh list what's that then oh it's state names state names is list state names state names okay so that's the list i'm using in this function and this function then says okay new variable shortest word it's equal to the first item in our list which makes sense we don't know what word it will be the shortest so we grab the first one and start comparing here we have a for statement to loop through our entire list. And just to go over this fast, what this says is i is equal to zero. I must be less than the length of the list, which is perfect because the length of the list for states, for instance, is 50. But if I talk about the index, well, indexes are zero then through 49, right? There's still 50 things because there's something at index zero. Alabama would be at index zero. Zero through 49 are the indexes. The length is 50 so we want to keep it less than the length to make sure we go through everything and this is i equals i plus one or i plus plus so we go up by one each time so is zero what we start with less than the length of the list yeah it's less than 50 so then we go boom we run the code inside if list i dot length is less than the shortest what shortest well we just stored the first word in it so or the index zero word so alabama then well this is at zero so these are both alabama to start they are not less than alabama is not less than alabama they have the same number of letters so it hits the bot it skips over this part of it hits the bottom goes back to the top i plus plus i equals one one is less than 50 so it dips into the code here and says if list i so list one alaska is at index one i believe Yep, right here, index one, it's it's number, it's item two, but it's still index one because Alabama is index zero. So is Alaska dot length less than the word we've stored here, which is Alabama dot length? Yeah, Alaska has less characters. So the computer says true, dips into this, and now the shortest word would be Alaska. Hits the bottom, it's done with if, goes back to the top and runs through everything. Finally, when we get all the way done, it hits the return shortest. And the computer says, okay, so whatever shortest was equal to, I'm giving back to something. I'm shoving it back. So I'm going to return shortest where? Smack. This is where I was called. 
So it was called here. So the shortest state, which I believe is Iowa, although Ohio too, uh, Iowa goes here. And so this thing, when it starts making, it's like, oh, message is equal to something new. Okay, it's going to be what message used to be equal to, plus, but one with the shortest name is, plus, it's like on hold, because it instantly runs this function, and this function shoots out the word Iowa here, and so Iowa is smacked to the end of the sentence. Well, and then we add more to message, but longest word, same idea, doesn't work. And that's because when you go down to longest word function, we just return unknown. And that's why unknown is printing here and here. So we need to fill out this function. We are getting into some complicated stuff, which is fun. All right, let's take a look. We got this. Mm -hmm. Let's push this over. And I'm going to start just like they did. I'm going to steal their name for a variable. So I'm going to do var longest is going to be equal to list zero all right so the first word just for the same reasons we need to equal to something to start comparing now i want to go through the entire list so to do that i'm going to do list.length this is also good because then if we use the dog list or the state list it can run through everything if we use list.length and i'll start at index zero for the reasons i just described all right now our variable longest oh nope i need an if and each time we go through i want to check if longest dot length so if longest dot length is less than right so if longest dot length or i can do it in the order they did above which is list i if list i is greater list i dot length is greater than the longest dot length okay well, then what do we want to do? Well, if that's true, then this word is longer than longest. So we want longest to now be equal to that word. So. And then we'll return not unknown. We want to return our variable, which is longest. Okay. And this should work. It's a whole lot similar to this. That's what I base mine off of. That's why they give us that code. So let's go ahead and let me make sure. Yep, and they have the function call longest, shortest, longest, shortest. Yep, and the function call, remember, is within this statement here. So let's test. Quapow, North Carolina, and something Shepherd. But uh, tricky, tricky. <laughs> This is important stuff, though. We're going to be able to build awesome apps with this. Let's keep going.